Nearly 50 buildings were damaged in the quake that also prompted evacuations last night. News on 6 reporter Katira Winfrey back in Cushing at noon with new information. Katira. Dave, downtown Cushing has the most damage. All around town, you're going to see scenes like this where you have the bricks that have toppled from the building and you have this tape that is roped off the area. And with the rain coming and going, it's going to take a while to clear this all up. Now, earlier today, the city manager said during a news conference that he wanted to reassure the public that crews are working hard to get things done. One of the buildings badly damaged in the quake is the Cimarron Tower. It serves as a senior living apartment. About 40 residents who had to be evacuated are still staying in the emergency shelter. City representatives say this is the strongest quake they've ever felt in the area. They say the worst injury report they've seen is a man came in with a cut on his arm. City leaders say it's hard to anticipate events like this, but each time crews know how to quickly jump into action. I'm very proud of the response that we've had. I do believe we're well prepared. There's just so much you can do in terms of preparedness and basically you start to stabilize the incident initially and then we go into recovery and we're going to be in recovery for like I say for several weeks. But uh, anytime you have any type of disaster, you've got to learn from that to be better for the next one. And we'll be out here throughout the rest of the day. We just finished talking to workers here at this antique shop and we'll give you a closer look at the damage coming up later, the, later tonight. Reporting live in Cushing, Katira Winfrey, News on 6. Thank you, Katira.